and this is uh, beginning of part two, the Alder Trail. It goes next to the river. I'm still on the Alder Trail. It's pretty icy. It's about 38 degrees out here, so just melting. <clears throat> There's the big Derby River there. Really pretty. Little bridge going across the stream going into the Big Derby. A lot of water right now. My shoes keep collecting gobs of mud. It makes my feet feel like they're really heavy. I'm about three miles into the run here and just uh, gonna go up to a loop and we'll come back down here. We'll be coming back down the right side here, which goes by the river, but first we're gonna go up and around a big meadow up here. It tends to be really sloppy when it's wet like this. We'll see. The hill's nice and I'm pretty. Top of the hill it tends to be really wet. It's usually super wet. Fortunately, it's still a little bit frozen, so not as bad as usual. Parking area there. There's one car. Like I said not too many people come here. The little two quarter of a mile loop here that we're going to do through this field. And then we'll go back by the river. The tall grass trail. Not so tall right now, but boy, in the uh, summer, it does get kind of tall. It's kind of pretty running through the tall grass. Bluebird nests that you'll see in the summer. This tall grass trail is really kind of boring. Just a big loop. See a little piece of Rail 71 straight ahead here. That's how close this park is. There's Route 70 there. You can see that truck right there. More than 100 yards away. Now well, we're finishing this loop here. Then we'll be headed over to the uh, trail that goes next to the river. Which I'm sure will be super muddy. I well, we just finished the uh, tall grass tail and uh, now we're gonna go over here by the uh, river and then head back to the Alder Trail. About to dive back in the woods a little bit here. Found to be icy and slippery.
heading up on this little stream crossing, which is super high right now. That'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Go up here. Don't mind getting my shoes a little bit wet, but it's cold. Ouch. Lots of thorns. All right. And now, up the big hill. This is, the loop is called the uh, Osage Opening Trail. It's just a loop. There's our Osage Orange there. Not really good for use for anything. I ran a whole trail once throwing this back and forth. It kind of keeps you going. Wish I could juggle. Some more Osage Orange is all through here. FDR build a whole shelter ridge of uh, trees through the uh, Plains states, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas back in the 30s. So there were 200 million trees kind of blocked the wind erosion. A lot of those were Osage Orange because they're so strong and resilient. Here's a good example of one. Not the prettiest trees, but certainly great wood. The uh, bows made of that back in the Indians would be worth a whole horse. In fact, the French would call the tree bow dark, which meant bow wood. Probably didn't want to know all that. But there you go. And we're back down and we're getting closer to the uh, grouper there. More of sage orange. Really pretty running in the winter here because you can see so far. If this were summer, you wouldn't be able to see the river there because it'd be so grown up. Okay, now we're going to go down the trees and uh, by the river here, which is a little technical because so it gets really wet, slippery. get my feet right or fall and I'll be surprised. You can see where some people have slipped already. Ah, now I want to walk over these trees. They don't look very easy to walk across. bad. Now I can get back to trying to run a little bit.
in a pretty in a wet muddy way this uh, orange tape here is for a reason I'm just going to take this other path here and that's because there's a uh, beehive in there it doesn't seem to be active right now but you excuse me if I don't poke around it Running by the river here. Pretty mushy. Now we're back in that original loop. Hitting the alder trail. There's our map here. Going back across this little tributary to the Big Derby over there. Big Derby turns west here and we're sort of following it again. But you can't see it over there. Still on the Alder Trail. And back by the river again. man with big giant iron shoes there coming to the end of the alder trail here so we'll call this uh, the end of part two part three will be the lakeview trail up here coming up here on the lakeview trail the path is just this gravel it goes around two three nice man-made lakes here